Hello everyone, I'm back with another video on my Nook Color. Now, this will be the last video I ever make on this device. Um, if you look at this one here, you can see it's wrapped in plastic. plastic. And that's because this is not the same Nook that I've been making videos with. As it turns out, my last Nook Color had a bad USB port, so I had to return it. Unfortunately, that was actually the second Nook Color I returned. Now, Barnes & Noble were very nice, and they replaced both Nook Colors. Um, no questions asked. They even paid for return shipping. It was very good. Now, the first time they did it, they replaced it with a brand new item. Uh, this item that I just got, I don't know because it's been a while. Um, this is actually a um, certified pre-owned Nook. So basically, it's not brand new, but it is mostly unused. And hey, there's my cat again. She always shows up in these videos. Okay, so why is this my last video? Why am I not using this one? Well, simply put, I got bored waiting for the new one to arrive. So I kind of moved on from the Nook and got the Galaxy Tab 10.1. So I'm just, I'm not going to turn the Nook on anymore. Just want to kind of compare the two. So you got the 7 inch screen versus the 10.1 inch. That's different perspective right there. Back let's put the nook on top of the tab. So there you go, that, that's the size difference. Interestingly, the nook is heavier than this device, which is extremely light and thin. I don't have to do that, um, show any stats on that. There's enough videos showing that kind of thing. So my quick impression on the tab, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue making tab videos. Um, we'll see. There's plenty of those videos nowadays. When I started doing this, there was hardly anything, but now you're not going to miss me. Anyways, here's the tab. Okay, so it's a nice device. Uh, honeycomb, which that did not have. Um, well, it does, but it's not really working. It's a uh, nice, um, but CM7, I mean, you can't complain. If you're used to an Android phone, this is... It runs the apps perfectly. It's like a big phone, which is kind of nice. Uh, but this, it takes some getting used to. The first two or three days I had it, I've had it for a week. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. But then something clicked, and I've, once I got used to it, I decided I really, really like it. So, let me go ahead and just show you. Fortunately, I'm using my digital camera for this video, and I did one other video with it, and it's not very clear. Um, unlike my phone, which is kind of odd. But I'm going to show you one thing here. Since I down downloaded the Nook app on my tab, some of you like to read. So I have this set up. Let's see here. It's my faithful Star Trek book. There you go. One thing I like about the tab, it is big enough where you can do this. It's kind of nice. It's so light that it's not really different than holding the Nook, but it's kind of awkward in portrait. I actually have it locked in landscape mode right now, because I prefer landscape. And I think there's a lag going back and forth. But if that wasn't locked, you'd have the whole page on one page. So, I just got a notification. Interesting. Um, so there you go. That's, that's the book reading on the tab. Um, it's great for... Books, emails, PDFs. I like the um, the market looks a lot different. The Nook market looks like the Android phone, but this is the Honeycomb market, which is very nice. It's a uh, definitely designed for a tablet, unlike the other one. You got this nice little animation going on here. Okay, now I was so against 10-inch tablets, all about these, and I still like them, but those have downsides for being too small. This has downsides for being too big. Likewise, those have downs or upsides for being that size. There's a lot of upside for this as well. Um, as of like two days ago, this actually got Netflix working. So that is really nice. It works perfect. There's no bugs. Um, if you go to movies, which this was designed for, let me, let me check this out if I have my gallery. I don't know what movie this is. Let's resume. Speakers are outstanding compared to that. And that's an e-reader, so you got to give it some credit. But I just want to point out that I did warn you that uh, that woman was going to be the ruin of us. Right. Little Bruce Willis action going on right there. Okay. 
So obviously the main difference hardware wise being an e-reader, um, this has a built-in GPS. It has Bluetooth that was enabled to begin with, not later on. And um, let's see, it has a front-facing camera, has a back camera with a flash. A lot of people talk about this being plasticky, but if you get the black version, it's pretty nice, I think. The white version looks extremely cheap. This is the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi, costs 500 bucks at Best Buy. So, now lastly, before I go, I'm gonna do a little benchmark. Everyone's all about the benchmark. So, let's go to Linpack, that's really quick. Um, oh, there's my NUC app. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and download it, because I thought I did. Oh, I did, okay. So, we're gonna run single thread. This is not overclocked, it's dual core Tigre 2 processor, mflops 31, let's do this again. 31, now there's actually a dual core, I was hitting the wrong one, so let's go do the dual core. 52, there you go. 57. 55, now let's compare this to my phone. My Thunderbolt. Now this is rooted with CM7. Right now it's overclocked to 1.6. So I'm going to go into um, Linpack. Here it is. Run single thread. 51. 55. 56. Now the Thunderbolt is basically 40 M flops, unrooted, on stock, not overclocked. So I had to get this thing overclocked, 1.6 gigahertz, and it actually matches up nicely with the Tigre 2 processor. So there you go. Okay, so that is the end of my Nook videos. Awesome, awesome device. I do question the build quality. I'm sure some generic firm in Taiwan is making this. It doesn't really have the backing of solid Samsung or Apple type hardware. Yes, I do hate Apple, but they make awesome hardware, I have to admit. Um, so, yeah, at least Barnes & Noble stands behind it. They've sent me two brand new replacements. But I've moved on to greener pastures. This is going on Craigslist as of about five minutes. I'm going to do that. You've seen the last of this. And, um, and there you go. Until the next time, we'll see what video I decide to do.